This video demonstrates how measurement throughput can be increased by the disaggregation of test signal acquisition and signal analysis and by the parallelization of several analysis processes. As a practical example, we selected a 200G 4-channel transceiver. 26 gigabaud PAM4 signals from four transmitter channels are measured and analyzed. Starting with the traditional approach first. Acquisition and analysis happen on the same computer hardware. Therefore, acquisition and analysis have to take place sequentially. Experiment 1 uses a 4-channel DCAM connected to a PC with Flex DCA software running on a 2.8 GHz i7 CPU. First acquisition starts and the waveform of all four DCA channels is displayed. Then the first analysis starts. Thereafter, a second acquisition is triggered, followed by the second analysis. The consecutive acquisition analysis steps each take 9.5 seconds. The acquisition and analysis steps are repeated a few more times. Ten acquisition and analysis cycles take 95 seconds in total. The timing analysis shows the timing diagram for 10 measurements. Now moving to the disaggregation approach. Here acquisition and analysis run on different computers. If the analysis of the waveforms takes longer than acquiring the waveforms, it is necessary to distribute the waveforms and run the analysis on several physical or virtual machines in parallel. In the second experiment, the same signals are acquired by a four-channel DCAM which is connected to the same PC. In contrast to experiment 1, the waveforms are sent to four other PCs for analysis. Like in experiment 1, we are using the KS8400A Pathwave Test Automation Platform for realizing the instrument control and test flow. For the analysis, we are using the new N1094 BS1A PAM4 measurement SDK, which runs on the four additional physical or virtual machines. The N1094 BS1A calculates key PAM4 parameters like TDECQ, auto OMA, optical extinction ratio, eye width, linearity, and skew. The experiment starts with a new waveform acquisition. The waveform data are uploaded and first analysis is started. Immediately after sec transmission, second acquisition is triggered. Second analysis and third acquisition almost run in parallel. Again, let's have a look at the timing diagram. At the bottom line, you see the waveform acquisitions and the data transmission. In the lines above, you see the analysis processes on the four physical machines. Red numbers on the left show that the DCA hardware is occupied to almost 100%. Utilization of the analysis machines ranges from 70 to 87% depending on processor type and speed. Finally, comparing both experiments shows that through disaggregation and parallel waveform processing, the overall throughput was improved by a factor of two and measurement time reduced to 50% over the traditional approach. Asset utilization of DCA hardware is now increased to almost 100%.
visit www.keysite.com slash find slash N1094BS1A to learn more about the PEM4 measurement SDK for virtual machines. Thank you.